In this video, I'm going to be going over the quoting feature in Pump Magic. To start, you're going to click on Sales and then Quoting, which will take you to Quoting Central. In order to start a new quote, you can right click anywhere in the grid and add new quote. From here, I'm just going to fill in the blanks. So I would add in my customer. And then from here, if it's job site specific, I can pick from the existing job sites or I can click on the green plus sign to add a new job site. Or if this is for all future jobs, all jobs, I can just click on all future customer job sites. Then I'm going to click on the blue quoted to line and pick who I'm quoting to. And I can again click on the blue line for mobile phone to add in their mobile phone number and email address. If I want to add in a landline and it's not in there, I can add in a new phone number by right clicking and adding a new contact source. And then double clicking to add it into the line. The next item I'm going to come to is the pricing scheme. So from the drop down box, I can choose the pricing scheme that I want to use with this quote and choose the sales agent that's quoting. I can make it effective on a certain date. It's going to default to today's date and I can put in an expiration date. I'm going to use one year. So I can have it expire one year from now. And on the quoting title, since it's for all jobs, I'm just going to put all jobs. Or I could put in the name of the project or any other title that I want for this quote. This does print out on the quote, so just know that you will be seeing it on the printed quote. From here, I'm going to click on my pricing sheets up at the top, and it's going to list all of the pricing sheets attributed to the pricing scheme that I picked, and I can go through and double click on which pump sizes I want to quote. Once I've got the pump sizes I want to quote on the left hand side, I can go ahead and change the display group. So I can leave it as none, or you can see I can use this drop down arrow and I can specify them as standard booms, specialty, low clearance booms, telebelts, standard cranes, and specialty cranes. For now, I'm going to leave them all blank so that you can see how it looks on the quote. The next thing I'll want to do is put in a message to my customer. So I can just put Dear Bobby. And for the disclaimer, I'm going to use Word to copy and paste. So here's my terms and conditions in Word. I'm just going to right click and highlight everything and use Control C to copy. And then come back to my disclaimer and use Control V to paste. So you can see I copied and pasted all my terms and conditions in on the quote. So I'm going to go ahead and save this and print it out so that you can see how it looks. So you can see that this quote has not been approved. I have not marked it as approved since we're still working on it. So it's got a big kind of disclaimer up at the top. You can see what company it's going to. Here's the quote title, all jobs, and the contact information, plus the salesperson for our company and our mobile number and the effective and expiration date of the quote. And here you have all the pump sizes together without any travel or mobilization fee. And then you can see my terms and conditions here on the bottom. So now I'm going to go back and I would really like to kind of highlight my specialty booms and separate them from my standard roll and fold booms. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and close the print preview and go back to pricing sheets. And this is where I'm going to change these to standard booms or specialty booms. I'm going to close this now. And let's say that I would like to print the travel time with the travel pricing on my 
quote. So I'm going to go ahead and click on options and you can see I'm showing the equipment type name. I'm showing the sales agent and I want to show the travel rate as well. I can also show the equipment description if that's something you'd like to use and set up charge if that's something you'd like to use. So I'm going to go ahead and close this save that and I'm going to go ahead and print and show you the difference that makes on the quote. So now you can see that my specialty booms have moved up to the top so they're kind of highlighted up at the top and my travel charge is now on the screen as well and my standard booms are shown down below and then my terms and conditions. Another feature you can use if I want them to show from the largest boom to the smallest boom, I can come back in here to my pricing sheets and scroll over here to my sort ID. I'm going to drag it over here so I can see it a little bit better. And I'm going to change these in order. So I want the 52 meter on top. I'd like the next largest boom to be the second one in line, then third, fourth, and fifth. And I'm going to do the same thing for my standard boom. So the 47 meter is the largest, it's going to be first. I'm going to work my way down. So I'm going to close that and I'm going to save. And now when I print the quote, they'll be in reverse order, so showing the largest size down to the smallest size. So you can put your pumps in any type of order that you want them to print out. Once I'm done and I know that this is exactly how I want it to be. I can mark this as approved by checking the approved box. I can set the status to awaiting approval. And now when I save and print, that disclaimer up at the top is going to be gone. So there you go. And that's how you use the quoting in Pump Magic. Thank you for watching this video.